Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Amperu's Army. We are back. We're back, baby. Again, last episode I'm pretty sure I said we are back. And then I went away again. Uh, but now we are back. And we're back, to be honest, with quite a lot of excitement. As you probably will be able to tell by the title and the thumbnail, we have got a new 3 million coin team to use. Damn! A 3 million coin team we've managed to make now, but we've got so much more than that, as well as obviously the brand new team. We've got old promos that we've missed, we've got evolutions that we've missed, we've got a new Ampadu evolution that we're going to get started today as well, and also of course, updating you on all the players that I've packed between now and last episode. So settle yourselves in for a chaotic episode once again. And before we jump into it, all I will say is if you guys are new around here and you like what you see, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel down below. I'm on the road to 500 and we're getting there slowly but surely. Any help towards that would be greatly appreciated, of course. And with that being said, let me stop waffling and let's just jump into the Ampadu's army. Okay, then here we are in the Ampadu's army. Now, at the time of recording this, the current promo is Ultimate Dynasties, which loosely translates to if you've got a brother or a dad or a sister who plays football, you can both have special cards and have a nice little family affair. It's just fathers and sons, brothers and sisters, brothers and brothers that somehow play football together. They've all got cards. If I can find all of the cards, I'll try and show you. I think... There you go. So you've got the Timber Brothers, the Hoyland Brothers, all three of them now, as another one came out today. Florian Verts has apparently got a sister, didn't know that. Sane, he's got a brother. The Williams Brothers, Mendy and Mendy are somehow related, I, I don't know. Reese and Lauren James. And then if your dad's an icon, and you have to try and live up to his reputation. The Icon and the Sun have also got cards as well. It's actually quite a cool promo, except Ampadu doesn't have a brother, sister or father who plays football on this game, so... He was never going to get a card, obviously. Thanks, Captain Obvious. And I do have 42 packs, but I did say I was going to save up the team of the year. I'm not going to lie, Ultimate Dynasties is probably not going to make me change my mind on that. I've changed my mind already. I'm going to talk and open the small packs that I have like this. So we're here, episode 10, a milestone episode. As I said, it is the Ultimate Dynasties promo, but we have missed a promo. The last episode I recorded was on Black Friday during the Thunderstruck promo. That has been and gone, and it has been replaced, or it was replaced, I should say, with some toxic thing that I can never remember the name of. What was it called? Radioactive is what it's called. It was replaced with Radioactive, and that was cool in the sense that it was players that don't normally get special cards, and EA made it so that it was easier to get them on chemistry like they immediately came into the team with minimum two chemistry so that was, a, that was it was a cool idea from EA so that promo wasn't really that interesting and now obviously it is ultimate dynasties do you know what I act call me an addict because you'd be spot on I'm gonna open all of these 81 doubles because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pack a team of the year in an 81 double am I but yes uh, we missed a promo not a lot happened really but with the promo came a new evolution for a CDM a new evolution that Ampadu could fit and I'm buzzing to do that. There is actually a lot of new evolutions that have come out recently, and a lot of them that Ampadu could have qualified for, and there's actually a different alternate route I could take if I started again with a new fresh Ampadu. No, 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 no. 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 I could take this alternate route and still get into the same rating, still with the same playstyle plus, but to be honest, I can't be bothered. Oh, that's a relief. I'll put it on screen now because this is not what I'm going to do, but this is the card I could potentially do with the evolutions that are currently available to me. However, it's like three evolutions that I could be spending on other players. It's also very time consuming, so I'll have to start again. And also the Ampadu I currently have has got over 100 games played for me and I'd like to keep him. So I don't really want to do that. And Although the stats on the one on the screen are better than the ones we're about to get, having lower stats is better for now because it means when other evolutions come out, he could fit into the category of that and get bumped up even more. So in my head, I'm going to stick with the one I've currently got because then I can do the other evolutions on other players. And there are some crazy, crazy possibilities that I could be looking into doing. For example, one of them is a Saliba, and I think I'm going to do Saliba because I've got quite a lot of Arsenal going on in my team right now. And I think that is the situation with the evolutions right now. I'll obviously talk you through that when in a minute after I've opened these packs, which have been 
Shocking, by the way. Not worth holding on to. Yeah, that's pretty true. That's true, and yeah, that's true. Not really worth opening. Couple 84s, not a lot to shout about right now. But right, you know what? I keep getting duplicate 84s, I'm not going to open anymore. I can't just keep quick selling 84 rated players. And plus, I actually want to get on and start this episode properly. So, I've waffled for long enough, so let me just tell you what I've been waffling about. Let me quickly run you through this before we jump into the team. So, there are a lot of evolutions. Some of them you got to pay for, like these. None of these are that interesting. Apart from the rare defender. So the reason Ampadu can't qualify for this, I think, is because you need zero playstyles on your card, which Ampadu obviously has. He has the Interceptor Plus playstyle, but there is... Well, here he is, Saliba. This Saliba, as I was waffling about when I was opening the packs, that card looks good on the face of it, and then the fact that it's Saliba, one of the best defenders of the game, he might have to come in instead of our new centre-back. There is so many evolutions. There's this one that came out today, and Osimen can fit it somehow. Victor Osimen has got the requirements to fit this, and you can make a 91 raid Osimen. There are all these promos, and we have to come down to Radioactive Maestro, I believe is the one. Gives you a lot of upgrades, and as you're about to see, we can evolve Ampadu even further. Yeah! The 82 rated Ampadu can go all the way up to 85 with these stats that you can't really see because it's green on green and that's just, it, it's just so impossible to read. So this is the evolution I'm going to start. Also, you'll notice by the way as well, he's got a new face. I have checked though, still the same in-game face, so we're okay. Thank God. All there's left to do then is jump into the new team. So this is the old Ampadu's team. This is the Ampadu's army team. Episode eight, this was the team we finished with and I won't lie to you, a lot of it is changing. I don't even think I had Mavadidi in the team, actually. I think Mavadidi is new. Mavadidi for now can stay there, though. Firstly, Saka, you're gone. Bye-bye. Jeremy Pimpong, he does have much better cards, but I can't afford them. You're gone. Schlotterbeck, also gone. As you may be able to tell, Kevin Trapp is also saying goodbye. As well as, as he's now on zero chemistry, absolute life support, Palacios is gone. Bon Pastor is only dropping to the bench. Leaving the squad, but she's dropping to the bench. Right. Let's start off with some packs that you haven't seen me open. So, if you pre-ordered the game at the right time, which I did before a certain time, you got yourself a free UCL hero pack, which I have already opened. I made a TikTok out of it. You may have already seen that. It's also up on the YouTube shorts. You might have seen that. But if you haven't, I'll run the clip now. Come on. I literally don't know a good one from a bad one right now. The flare looks sick. Oh! Is that Rositsky, right? Rositsky? Hey, do you know what? It looks all right. It looks very, very usable. Can't compare the price because he's literally not on the market right now, so I don't know if that's a double or an L, but do you know what? I'll take it. So we managed to get Thomas Rositsky. Now, I won't lie, isn't a fantastic one, but it's new. It's someone I haven't used before, and he does actually technically fit the team because it's obviously a hero. He would be playing CDM, though, is the only issue, and as you can see, if you're not blind, he's quite clearly a cam. So that is the bench complete. Now, with Black Friday, there were so many SBCs and so much going on. One of them, a base hero, player pick. And I thought, do you know what? Why the hell not? I'm going to whack that open and all. And I did. I opened it and I'm, I got a pretty big dub. I managed to get Alawai Ran. Now, in the pick, I got two 85s. But one of the 85s was, at the time, worth 250k. I don't even I don't know how much he's worth now. Has an alternate position at striker, though. Could actually just play him up front as a Mavadidi. But I think I've procrastinated enough and I can finally jump into the Ampadu's army team. <laughs> finally! Let's start with the left mid because this is probably the biggest one. If you haven't seen last episode this is a three million coin team this is one and a half million coins worth in this one left midfielder it is of course the icon that we managed to pack ribbery i don't know how we packed frank ribbery let's go from the left mid to the right mid saka is gone and he's being replaced with someone else that we managed to pack off camera saka we packed in form saka he has to be better than the other one. Speaking of Premier League, let's go to the right centre back. Again, if you haven't seen last episode, you won't know who this is, but we packed him in that video. It is Rubendij. Rubendij is in the squad as well. Who gets a Portuguese link to our right back, who we also packed in last episode. It is another trailblazer, 
Zhao Cancelo. He is currently on life support though, so I think the easiest thing to do is go back to the first ever goalie we had on this series, to Stegen. Barcelona, easy links. We have one more La Liga player and a manager to get to Stegen onto full chemistry, which is probably the most important. So, luckily for me, I took Axel Witzel from the season progress from last season, so he slots in very nicely. However, he's absolutely screaming out to me for some chemistry. So we've got H. Van Heuserbach. Who? He is La Liga. He is Belgian. That is Axel Witzel on full chemistry. Everyone except Mavadidi and Andy Robertson are on full chem. This is the team, and I won't lie, this actually makes me want to play EAFC 24 which is a feeling I've not had probably since the beginning of the game. All that is left to do then is make sure the custom tactics are working, give chem styles to the players that need the chem styles, and then we can just jump in some gameplay. Let me sort out the squad so it's ready to be used, and then let's jump into some games. Here we go then, look at the trim on Witzel as well. Oh, the amount of hair in our CDMs is gonna be crazy. Oh, we're playing someone with a guest. Maldini, Maldini in Haaland. Yeah, beatable team. Easily beatable team, but you don't play the team, you do, of course, play the player. And the player we are playing is a bunch of letters and numbers that I couldn't even read in time to work out what it says. Let's go! Easy. Jao Cancelo, Ampadu. Good, Bakaya. Mava, did you please say you, you stayed on side? You did. Inside one. Oh, you've hit the post. I don't believe it. Do you know what? It's been a while. We've got to try it first time. Touch. Bang. Oh, it just plucks it out of the air like it wasn't even an issue for him. Yes, Ampadu. Odegaard. Back to Ampadu. Lays off to Witzel. I wish we'd laid off to someone who could actually shoot. Oh, I'll take it back. Witzel can shoot. One nil up, Axel Witzel. Who we take that? That's an Ampadu assist, I think, as well. We're back. Saka. Go on, Bakaya. This is the pace we want from you, lad. Inside. Mavadidi. First touches. Ribery takes the man. Okay, we got lucky. I went for Travella. Mavadidi did that instead. K3, YLR7, are you leaving? There we go. First game, first win. Ampadu's army have beaten 1,690 RFC 55. 2-0. You love to see it. What a start. We're back. We're back, boys. The team's moving. I love it. I'm actually enjoying the game. Unbelievable. Let's just let's jump into one more. Game number two then. And I'm not gonna lie, we've switched the team. We've gone full on heroes. Alawai Ran and Rosicki are in for Axel Witzel and Mavadidi. Actually, both goal scorers I've just realized have been taken out. Donut, you're so stupid. Maldini again in for Odegaard. Joe Cole, Park Ji Sung, Haaland, obviously. Everyone's gonna have Haaland. Nedved. All right, not bad, but not ribbery, is it? I mean, playing someone with a Max Verstappen badge, which means we absolutely have to beat him. Odegaard has sent Odegaard. What a ball into Haaland, the Norwegian link up. That's true. We could actually probably fit Haaland into our team as well. Everyone got a free Haaland. And it's just occurred to me now that we can get the Norwegian links to him from Odegaard. He can actually fit the squad quite nicely. Well, took you long enough. Here he is, Thomas Rosicki. Let's test the passing range. Oh my god! Got a score. No, unlucky. Unlucky. You had to score just for the assist, it would have been. Stop Haaland from scoring. Didn't do very well with that. <laughs> he celebrated. I want everyone to remember he celebrated. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yoink. Sorry. He's just. He's literally just pulled me. Oh, yes. Ruben Diaz, that's class. Ribery, that's class. To Alawairan. He's only got the best defender of all time, but he's got past him. He's moved his keeper. Let me just clarify, he's moved his 85-rated gold keeper. You are a sad, strange little man. Good, Odegaard. Oh, yeah, where are you going? Where, and again, where are you going? Rosicki. Ribery's wide open. Sell him. Place it, bottom corner. 
Don't quit at 1 1. Don't quit at 1 1. Oh no, we're resuming. Okay. That was a close one. Okay, yeah. Alright. I'm really glad that EA gave everybody this card for free. Referee. Move him. Why did why would I say move him and then kick it where he moved him? I don't know. I clearly aimed that near post. Half time, we are somehow losing and we don't deserve to be. I think we've had a similar number of shots to be fair, but this guy moves his keeper because he's a sweaty little rodent whose parents don't love him. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to make any subs. I might bring on Witzel instead of Rositsky just because Witzel was class and Rositsky's a cam playing CDM. And Badu. Rizitsky, here we go. Here's the passing range. Oh my god. Rizitsky. I really hope I'm saying his name right. That's why he's in the squad. Literally for that reason. Ruben Diaz, where are you going? Ruben Diaz, where are you going? Messi doing the suit. Messi doing Ronaldo's celebration is some sort of crossover episode. I'm, I'm not, a, not a fan of that. Right, do it again, please, Rosetsky. <laughs> That's a joke! Ampadu! I swear to God, Thomas Rosetsky might be the greatest passer of the ball on this game. There's been three absolute Hail Mary through balls from him today. He's making subs, I think. I'm going to do the same. Alawaran not cutting the mustard right now. St. Max is going on up front. How? Oh, that's 4-3. Oh my god, Joe Rodon. Have my first board, child. Into St. Max. Into St. Max. Just run. Just run, St. Max. Prepare for the cut back and it's worked for Martin Odegaard. It's 4-3 to the Ampadu's army. Move your keeper. Up your bum hole, mate. And that's the game. Even when the game doesn't want me to win, we win. My face cam has just died. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> right then, as I could obviously replace the battery and get my face cam back up. But to be honest, I was going to end the video there anyway. This is the squad. I won't lie. Alawairan, you can come out. You had one shot, one opportunity, and you blew it, frankly. Axel Witzel is class, but oh my god, I need to try and fit in Thomas Rosicki because some of those passes... For now, though, Rosicki is going to drop out to the bench again. What a super sub that is, to be fair. Mavadidi can stay, however... Let me just put onto the bench, or at least the reserves, that Haaland card. Because out of curiosity, I want to see what chemistry he would be on if he was in the team. Erling Haaland fits the team on full chem. Gets the Norwegian link. Oh my god, he gets the Man City link to Ruben Diaz. Right, that's another possible option then. I'm absolutely loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. But for this episode, that is where I'm going to end it. So if you guys have enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like down below. If you are new around here, please feel free to subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. Turn on notifications to get notified when future future Ampadu's Army episodes come live and with that being said I will see you all in my next video. See ya. I actually just tried to do the see ya thing with the camera. Forgetting that the camera was off. Well, well, lucky the camera was dead because that was one of the stupidest things I've ever done.